creating bar graphs. Suppose we decide to collect data about the number of students in this class who go to school by bike, bus, car, or on foot. It is useful to organize the data in a table first. In the first column, we indicate how students come to school. In the second column, we write the count using numbers or tally marks. Students who take their bikes, raise your hands. So five of you take their bikes to school. How many take the bus? Eight. How many come by car? Three. And how many of you walk to school? Nine students. Excellent. One way to represent this count data is to draw a bar graph. But what is a bar graph? Let's use a grid and label our categories. And let's say that coloring one square would represent a count of one. We put this information to the side of the graph. We have five students who take their bikes to school. So on top of the bike category, we color the first square, and another right above it, and another, and so on until we've colored five squares. Notice how all colored squares combined make a long bar. Moving on to the next category. There are eight students who take the bus to school. So on top of the bus category, we color eight squares. And there are three students who come by car. So on top of the car category, we color three squares. Finally, there are nine who walk to school. So on top of the walk category, we color nine squares. And our bar graph is finished. In this lesson, you learned how to draw a simple bar graph.